Hey everyone, so in this video I'm just going to talk about the Haunted Maze NFTs including utility, price speculation, and my personal opinions on them. The Townstar team announced four new NFTs will be coming to Townstar that will be sold. I'm assuming one of them will be sold each week for the next four weeks. These are part of a set called the Haunted Maze set which features four different zones, each zone being a different NFT. If you were to collect and place all four of these different NFTs in your town, you will receive two additional buffs. The first buff doubles the effect of all four of these NFTs, which I will be explaining how that works for each NFT in a moment. The second buff grants a 25% movement speed bonus, for all cows and sheep in your town and only those two animals in particular and nothing else. Before I go over every zone, there's four important things to mention. First, for all the buffed effects of these NFTs, you need to not only own all four different zones, they also all need to be placed in your town. Second, the zones do not need to be placed next to each other to receive the buffed effects. They can be placed anywhere in your town. Third, none of these NFTs will have play and earn potential. They will be strictly for in-game utility, so keep that in mind when attempting to compare them to some NFTs that are currently available at similar prices but may actually qualify for play and earn potential once that component returns to Townstar. And fourth, just because I think something is not worth it doesn't mean I think you shouldn't buy it. Likewise, if I think it is worth it, that doesn't mean you should buy it. That's up to you to decide. I'm just sharing my opinions with you and what I think. The first Haunted Maze NFT that will be sold will be the Haunted Maze Zone 1, an epic rarity NFT which will be for sale on October 17th, 2022 on the Gala Game Store for $230 equivalent in town or purchasable with a credit card. The utility of Zone 1 by itself will be 3 Passive Nectar. If you have all 4 different zones placed in your town, the buffed utility of Zone 1 will be 6 Passive Nectar. In my opinion, by itself, 3 Passive Nectar is not worth $230 especially as your first NFT. This is a horrible choice as your first NFT. There's so many better choices such as a wheat stand, water tower, even that new rare water pump had good utility for its price point. Sure, three passive nectar will save you some spots, but so will other NFTs at the same price point. If you were to own all four haunted May zones, then the six passive nectar would actually be worth that $230. You should be in a position where you won't need any of the wild clover fields at all for all the beehive crafts, saving you plenty of space in certain nectar heavy builds. Haunted Maze Zone 2 will be a rare rarity NFT. The utility of Zone 2 by itself will be two passive clay lumps. If you have all four different zones placed in your town, the buffed utility of Zone 2 will be four passive clay lumps. I speculate this NFT will sell for somewhere between $120 and $160 based on its utility and rarity. In my opinion, by itself, two passive clay lumps is decent for the price I'm speculating it will sell for. You'll be saving some spots by not having to worry about clay fields and the water sources required for them. In some builds where you only need a few potteries, you could completely eliminate the clay fields required, which is great because balancing clay lumps can get annoying. If you were to own all four haunted zones, then the four passive clay lumps would definitely be worth that speculated price. Once again, you'll be in a good position where you may not need any clay fields for your potteries to operate. Of course, this requires a well thought out layout to accomplish still, but it is indeed possible. You'll save plenty of space in your build and won't have to worry about clay lumps taking up space in warehouses if you were using a worker to pick it up and store it. Haunted Maze Zone 3 will be a legendary NFT. 
the utility of zone 3 by itself would be too passive salty. If you have all four different zones placed in your town, the buffed utility of zone 3 will be 4 passive salty. I speculate this son of a team will sell for somewhere between $300 and $350 based on its utility and rating. It will most likely also have the lowest quantity available out of all the haunted zone NFTs. I speculate anywhere between 200 and 300 of these will be available. In my opinion, by itself, Zone 3 is not worth it just for the two passive salty. Honestly, nobody should be getting Zone 3 and not planning to get all the haunted maze zones. If you're gonna get Zone 3, you might as well get all the haunted zones, I'm not even kidding. This NFT is the main reason you want all the zones. Two passive salty will not get you any green timers for your salt fields or sand mines, only yellow timers. And if that's the case, you're better off just getting an ocean biome edge. However, if you own and place all four haunted zones, then this NFT will give four passive salty and that's absolutely amazing. That four passive salty will let you support up to 20 tiles in your town with enough salty to have green timers on your salt fields or sand mines. You will never have to go for an ocean biome edge again with this. The buffed version of this NFT will completely eliminate the need of oceans and not just that, it gives you way more versatility with the salty effect in your build. You can easily provide passive water to lots of salt fields because of the round setup it has versus a linear setup from an ocean biome edge. You can place it wherever it is most convenient in your build. You obviously don't want this next to any crops of course since the salty effect would negatively impact them but that shouldn't be an issue at all with proper placement. Haunted Maze Zone 4 will be an uncommon rarity NFT. The utility of Zone 4 by itself will be one passive nectar. If you have all four different zones placed near town, the buffed utility of Zone 4 will be two passive nectar. I speculate this NFT will sell for somewhere between $30 and $60 based off utility and rarity. Honestly, I'm disappointed with the utility of this NFT. One passive nectar is not worth the one spot you're wasting from placing this NFT. I would have loved it if they decided to make this one have one passive strawberries instead because I feel like it would have been much more helpful in different situations. Especially the buff version that would have supplied two passive strawberries which would be amazing for Sangria. But no, they decided to make it one passive nectar even though zone 1 already provides three passive nectar. Buffed or not, this NFT is not worth it and in most situations it would just be a waste of a spot in order to get the full benefits of the other NFTs. I think the only reason you should be getting this NFT is obviously if you're going for all the Haunted Maze Zone NFTs just to get the buffed effects. So assuming you have all the NFTs and their buffed effects, the two passive nectar this NFT would supply isn't completely useless but would only be used in some scenarios. You can place this zone 4 NFT near zone 1 and create a total of 6 more tiles with 6 passive nectar allowing you to have more beehives there with full passive nectar. For all 4 haunted NFTs, I'm speculating $750 total or just under that. Is that worth all the buffs? Well, I think that's pretty good. I would say worthwhile. You could also get one or two other good NFTs at that price. And NFTs that would actually qualify for play and earn rewards. But if you don't care about that or already have those, then yeah, these four Haunted Maze NFTs for all their buffed effects is actually quite good. There will be builds where you won't use these NFTs in your end build though. So just keep in mind, that these NFTs won't always be used. I do like the 25% movement speed buff to sheep and cows for placing off or haunted maze NFTs, but especially for the sheep. I often do a wool rush for cash at the beginning of all my builds, assuming nothing else was cash buffed. So that extra movement speed buff for sheep is something I would benefit from and would be worthy enough to place all four of these NFTs in an unused corner of my town when I start up. 
I do think that the only one that may actually go up in value would be the Haunted Maze Zone 3 because there will most likely be a lower quantity available for it so it will be the most difficult one to get for people trying to complete their collection. I may try to get these NFTs myself but I'm also hesitant to do so because I'm trying to save up money for an amazing new computer but regardless I'm still going to get a new computer and probably just pay it off over time. That's how I wanted to talk about it in this video. I hope this video has been informative to people who wanted to know more about these Haunted Maze NFTs. Feel free to like the video and leave a comment if you have any questions or feedback. Thank you for watching.